So we're going to show you how to test. Uh, this happens to be a 52 volt shark pack and it's not working on any of our bikes. And when I check it here with a voltmeter, you have two positive on this side and two negative on that side. So both of them, if I check, I get zero. So then I thought maybe it was a bad connection. And when I opened it up, the solder joints looked good and I checked it again, still zero. So then I went from this side, which is the positive coming straight from the battery, to the ground coming from the battery. And when I did that, you can see 55.4 volts. So I know the battery is good. So then when I try the ground on the other side of the BMS, I get zero voltage. So now I know somewhere there's a problem with the BMS. So the next thing I'm going to show you guys is how to check each of the banks in the in the battery to see if they're good. This is a 52 volt battery, so there's going to be 14 in series. So what we're going to do is grab each of these pins and see what the voltage is and it should be right around 4 volts. So when we check this, we get 4 volts, so that's a good one. 4 volts, that one's good. 4 volts, that one's good. 4 volts again. So all of these are showing 4 volts, so that's a good sign. It means that the cells are good and that they seem to be balanced. And you want to be careful when you're doing this not to cross your probes and arc anything. These are kind of small contacts, so you have to be careful. 4 volts, 4 volts. So far, so good. And I'm not really surprised since it was showing 55 volts. Seems like all the cells should be in good shape. And then the last one, we're going to grab this last pin with our positive probe and then the main ground, which is also acting as a sense wire. And it shows 4 volts. And then we'll go from that to this, and then we'll get the whole 55.4. So battery's about 80% charged, and everything's good except for the BMS. So if we can replace this BMS, battery should be good to go.